Hey guys, Meet Ruddles, Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. My first stop, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. You can see the problem. The snow level's halfway up the mountain. The snow line is halfway up the mountain. So what we really need is colder air. I think we're going to get it with this Canadian front because we need to bring that snow level, that rain snow line, all the way down to the valley floor so we can accumulate snow. I'm thinking probably 6 to 10 inches of accumulation for Jackson Hole all the way down to the valley floor and in Grand Targhee as well. So we'll investigate all that. Here are my bullet points. Next storm system. This Canadian Thanksgiving cold front, 1123 through 1125. You can see the timing for Utah and Colorado starting late on the 23rd, continuing into the 25th. So the timing would be a little bit earlier up in Wyoming because it's going to come straight down through Montana, hit Wyoming first, then Utah and Colorado. We've also got some action on the board for the Northeast late tonight through the 22nd and potentially another storm on the 27th. In fact, let me take you back and I want to show you water vapor. So I marked it. You can see the low uh, heading up through the northeast right now. That should deliver several inches of snow to the ski areas, the higher elevations of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, rain at lower elevations. At least it's something, and that'll be moving through. And then you can see the Canadian front. It's looming, and that'll drop straight uh, south through Montana, Wyoming, through Colorado, Utah, and then into New Mexico. Let me show you the timing with that on the forecast, radar, and satellite current state of affairs. So by tomorrow morning, it looks like this. By tomorrow afternoon, here comes the front. And there it is, moving into the Tetons Thursday morning, continuing through the afternoon. Still there on Friday morning. And by the time we get into the afternoon on Friday, snow pretty widespread through Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. There's Saturday morning. There's Saturday afternoon, snow tapering. In Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, as the low, still snowing in northern New Mexico, as the low now moves away. Now, after this, the 26th through the 30th looks very quiet for the Intermountain West. At this point, it's mainly high pressure, jet stream split, no real energy deposited in the West. Uh, and I'll show you why here. In fact, let me show you the jet. So here is the 24th. Doors wide open, cold air spilling south. You can see the jet lined up with the front, the Arctic front, the Canadian front, through southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Now here's the problem. By the time we get to the 30th, it's very disorganized. There's probably energy up in the northeast. And a lot of the energy is being deposited into, the, into BC and maybe the Pacific Northwest. But we really, I think we're going to have to wait until probably the first week of December to see anything substantial move in to the west. So let's talk uh, totals. 21 through 25, probably 6 to 10 across the Tetons. Man, I, t I was really hoping to squeeze out more snow in Big Sky. I was thinking potentially 3 to 6 earlier today, but now I've come down to maybe 1 to 4. Um, Red Lodge should do okay. Probably 6 to 12 through the Wasatch. And in Colorado, 4 to 12 across the western slope. Thought about maybe increasing the number around snow mass to 10. I think Crested Butte somewhere between 8 and 12, maybe 14 on the outside. And the San Juans will do well. Wolf Creek, 20 to 26. And northern New Mexico, probably 6 to 10. And this will bring snow all the way down to the valley floor in the Denver metro area as well. Here's the second period illustrating my point. There's just nothing there. It's all way north, and there's probably snow falling in the northeast. Here are my numbers for the northeast, and this is the 22nd through the 27th. So just to get us through the holiday period here, through Thanksgiving and the weekend, the follow. Um, again, most of this is at ski areas, higher elevations, mid-mountain and higher, with potentially rain mixing in on the 22nd at lower elevations. There may be another storm around the 26th and 27th that lays some snow down through, my, through um, Maine and New Hampshire. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.